Hey guys, Alan from Hack Gadgets here. Today's book review day. We're going to be taking a look at the 30 Beaglebone Black Projects for the Evil Genius. It's made by Christopher Rush. Thanks a lot to the publisher for sending this in. Let's head over to the bench and take a look at uh, what we get inside the book. Okay, so let's take a crack inside the book here. Really nice glossy cover. Nice back page here. And um, I guess to keep costs down, everything on the inside is all black and white. There is a real abundance of pictures though. So as you can see here, there's, uh, there's tons and tons of uh, really well documented and laid out. Um, you know, they got blocks of text and they got lots of graphics that are being noted from within the text. There's also tons of code snippets here and a bunch of projects. No matter what sort of projects you're into, you're going to find something here that, uh, that you like. I took a brief look through this. Let's just see here. So this is the best part of it. If you're a beginner, um, this will actually allow you to not only pick up some good projects here and get building quickly, It'll also give you a lot of the basics of, of what this board uh, is, what it does, how it's connected, and how to get it working. Um, so we can see here it actually goes through, um, we've got 16 pages of just getting this thing working. So it, it really walks you through it nicely. So here's the getting started section. So it tells us about powering it up. And connecting it talks about the file structure, um, tells us about what the actual device is and how it works, how to connect through SSH. And so check this out. So here's the actual uh, GPIOs that are uh, built into this thing. So if you're looking for a, a project that needs a lot of I.O., um, this really might be the uh, the killer feature for this. We have a ton of IOs and a lot of horsepower behind them. Okay, so what is the uh, Beagle Bone Black? Well, it has a, a one gigahertz processor. It has um, half a gig of memory. Um, it has onboard flash, two gigabytes of onboard flash. Um, it uses JTAG for uh, debugging if you want. It has uh, some USB 2.0, it has Ethernet 10100 micro uh, SD card, uh, it has HDMI um, for video and audio, lots of expansion uh, connectors, uh, including things like uh, I2C, SPI, um, just really, it, it, it packs a lot, of, uh, a lot of features into this uh, this really small form factor board. And why would you want this? I guess it uh, all depends on the projects you're, uh, you're going to be working on. Um, a lot of people are working with Arduinos and things like that and they just need something uh, more powerful, more like a, a mini computer. And, and that's where this uh, sort of uh, product comes in, into place. Um, you know, you can hook up a monitor directly to it and, uh, and just do a lot more uh, processor intensive things. Um, okay, so we take a look at the, uh, the getting started section here. That'll get you using it. And then we have an, a number of really nice sort of uh, um, different sections here. Um, of course, pro the, the first project here is, uh, sorry, the first project here is blinking an LED. And in the microcontroller sort of world, you know, blinking the LED is kind of the hello world of, uh, of a standard computer program. Um, then we have different blocks here. We have uh, a bunch of LED ones here. So we have like a traffic light, for example, um, a Morse code um, LED flasher here project. And then we have moving on below here, we got some sensor projects. So we got some uh, vibration detectors, some GPS stuff, uh, moisture sensors. Uh, we got some robotic projects. Um, let's see here. We got some rover stuff, some uh, oh, here. This looks kind of cool. Project number 16, a web controlled rover, page 67. Let's take a crack at that one.
Okay, so here's the web controlled rover, Project 67. So it gives you a little overview of it, tells you about the hardware. Um, so what they've used is a small robotic chassis that has two 6 volt gear motors and it is available from Palulu. And it tells us here the components we're going to be using, um, tells us the software we're going to be using. And of course all the software is available online, but they also give, give us some nice little code snippets. So if you're, if you're going to be sort of following along here, um, you can take a look at, uh, at some code here and then it tells you what it does. So that's a really nice way of learning. Okay, they give us a full schematic here, so uh, obviously this, this book is meant to allow you to um, read and build and learn, so obviously uh, you can easily follow the schematic diagram here and build your own. And it gives you a, uh, an example here of what it might look like when it's uh, being breadboarded up. Um, now it's a nice picture. It isn't black and white, so it might be a little bit hard to follow some of these, you know, gray, black, whitish uh, colored cables or uh, you know um, black and white cables here which obviously were color in the in real life um, and I guess well some of these cables are sort of hopping out of this out of the picture here so you know I wouldn't necessarily try to build anything based on these you know obviously you want to build things based on the schematics and here's a whole bunch of more code and next page has lots of code and examples um, of what the code does so it tells us here what each section is doing that's really nice and it shows us some of the output so after the program is done there's there's the output here with some motor speed sliders and things like that and uh, yeah that's a that's a cool project okay moving on to section number five we have some display projects and of course we have a clock in display projects, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, we have uh, dis um, how to use LCD displays, some matrix scrolling text displays, and oh wow, they even got some audio projects. And number one in the audio projects is an internet radio. Okay, and here is the internet radio project. So it tells us how we're streaming uh, the internet, how we're getting the audio out of it, out of the actual hardware itself, and uh, goes through the different software um, items here. It tells us exactly what we're doing. We're using Python here to uh, to stream, and look how small that project is. Ends right here, so it's like uh, two and a half pages to get a internet radio project working on this uh, this device well that's pretty cool okay and uh, last few sections here we have we have a spy project section intruder alert lie detector oh this is kind of cool a webcam security doorbell love to have one of those Let's see who's uh, ringing your doorbell um, and we have some tools and tips uh, data sheets um, and a bunch of tools that are required here. Um, we've got some appendix, we've got some suppliers, some components. And let's see, Christopher is in the UK, so let's see what he has for suppliers here. 135. Let's see if it gives us any help for some North American suppliers. Okay, suppliers, let's see here. So he does mention, oh, yeah, he mentions he's in the, in the United Kingdom, but... He also mentions there are some U.S. based people, including, oh, there we go, Spark Fun, Made of Fruits. Wonderful. So it is, it is uh, friendly to people that are in North America. Wonderful. Well, overall, this book is, I think, awesome to get you, get you started with the device get you building some projects and the projects are big enough and 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 described well enough that, that you're going to have fun building it and not only just having a device at, at the end of building a project but learning the knowledge to expand beyond that device 
So, you know, I got to get a Beagle Bone Black and, uh, and try some of these out. I'm really looking forward to it. So, way to go, Christopher, for putting uh, a topic that uh, isn't really, uh, you know, all that simple into a book and sort of breaking it down into baby steps uh, so that anybody can get their feet wet with this. For more information, go to hackedgadgets.com.